Hey guys, what's up? Abomination 9 here, back playing some more Dragon Ball Hunter. Now we're finally doing the last mission on this bulletin board, which is the... I don't know his name. Uh, Stone Leviathan Crag? He was in the trailer for the game, I believe. Or not trailer, but like, some of the first things you see, like you saw for the game back before it came out was this guy, I believe. Like a team of people fighting him. Alright, really cool. This is already really cool. The music is different. Two need for speeds. I won't complain about... What is that? A cave jellyfish? Never seen this enemy type before. Just like I hadn't seen those first guys in the last one before. These guys do electricity. These jellyfish... These guys do ice. These crab guys, so that's no good. Since my moves are ice. Or this build is ice. An ice build. Again, the music's like super low, even though I turned it up. Like, I super turned it up in the last episode. And now it's still so quiet. I don't know what's going on. Every time we come in, it gets super quiet. Uh, let's turn it up again, I guess. That didn't really seem to do anything. I was increasing the freaking music, yeah. I don't that's apparently as loud as it gets. I can't do anything about that. Okay, these are just regular shark cane. No big deal. Oh, I messed that up. Usually like if I hit him with the ice, I go into the arcane blast or whatever, if I can, but I did it way too slow. So yeah, this place is pretty cool, I guess. Like, I, I might even say cooler than the last place where the Cobalt Wavern was. I mean, that place was kind of cool because it was like an overgrowth. Uh, I don't know, castle-y area. And I was saying in that video that it kind of reminded me of the garden from uh, Razor Z. I mean, they even had like those thorn vines, I think their name were. More shark canes. Now, after I finish doing this, these videos, then for the next month, I'm probably gonna have to sit here and grind to get to level 50 to see what comes after that. That's gonna be fun, isn't it? You know how freaking long it's gonna take? Like, it probably will take me a month to get five levels. Like, not even joking. It took me forever just to get to 45 from, what was I, like 42, 43? It took me days. Like a week or so, I think. Oh, I, I can't move. I couldn't move. I think you, it, that needs to be fixed too. Uh, you can't dismount whilst in combat. Like that's weird. Because you enter combat, you're not allowed to do anything with mounts. I think you should still be able to dismount it. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting there trying to dismount. Obviously, you can just, like, lock on and attack. But, like, my first instinct is just to dismount. That's probably, like, a little thing they could fix, too. Yeah, 
Did I pick Need for Speed again this time? Yeah, I think I did. I think I'm gonna eat a cuttlefish before going into the boss fight. Though I guess I don't know where the boss fight's gonna be, so I probably should just eat it. I, I, I should eat it after killing this guy. I never use this, so I guess I should use it there. Like, I use that the least out of all my skills is my two, the knockaway. It just isn't far enough, and it doesn't work with how the game's mechanics work, where uh, it isn't about hitboxes coming in contact with your your uh, hurt box or whatever. It's just, were you in area when the attack went off? Or when the attack said it was supposed to go off? Because a lot of times you'll get hit by something, like, especially with, like, uh, I don't know his name, but the fire guy who looks like uh, Tiestra from Monster Hunter, uh, the Proto Dragomon, sometimes his attacks will hit you before the animation goes off. Like, you'll take damage before the animation even does anything. Oh, this is definitely the boss fight. Uh, Cuddlefish? Is it? Yeah, Max SP. I don't think this is where we fought, well not we, but they fought this guy in the um, trailer. Unless I'm thinking of someone who looks similar to this guy and this isn't that guy. But his body type looks like the guy from uh, the early on videos. And obviously he's electricity. Okay, I was out of range for that move. Or lightning, whatever. Your preference of... Your preferable choice of words. Okay, so I can roll twice now in a in succession. Succession now. Now that I ate that cuttlefish. Oh, I didn't know that was a charge. I like how big this area is. It's kind of like uh, the Megadactyls area. How large it was. But I think Cobalt Wavering had a lot of space too, because like he docked me far back and I guess I was still inbounds. I would assume there'd be like invisible walls where you couldn't pass, but So I guess this is kind of like your Lagaya Chris uh, from Monster Hunter. I mean, he's floating, but if you say we're in water right now, you could just say he's swimming. He has the spikes on his back. He does electricity or lightning damage. Uh, and he's kind of. He kind of. Craig released a thunderous blast. Watch out for lightning. So there's this, like. Uh, the Cobalt Wavering, where you'll have stuff from falling from the sky whilst he's attacking. So yeah, this is just, I guess, we could just call this guy the guy, Chris, for all inst instances and purposes. So this is Lagaicris. Which, if you never played Monster Hunter, you probably don't know who I'm talking about. Like, whenever I re refer to people as off names, you probably think, like, I'm crazy or something. Like, uh, who is the la- uh, I don't know his name. I don't know if his name's Torcus or if it's the other one. But, the turtle. Was that just a whole field damage? Uh, I refer to him as Venusaur from Pokemon. Like, that's, like, probably, like, the one everyone would get. That's pretty much what he is. It's just Venusaur. Uh, and like I said, this guy's Lakaiacris. Um... 
I'm trying to think of like the monsters in the game and who like they are. The red guy from the very starting area, that's Groudon from Pokemon. Uh I don't know why I can't think of anything. Cause I know there's like way more like similarities than that. Oh, um, Apollo. Apollo is Rajang from Monster Hunter. Rajang, except however you want to pronounce his name, except that he does f fire damage and he doesn't go Super Saiyan, as far as I know. I don't know if the party version goes Super Saiyan, but Rajang goes Super Saiyan. I don't know, I would have to, like, get a list of all the Dragon like a picture of all of them, and then, like, talk about who they are. Okay, then we just saw, um, Quintus, I think that was the name his. Uh, he's kind of like, I don't know, an Azurus? I don't know if that's how you want to pronounce his name. I pronounce all the names from Monsters are weird. An Azurus that has, like, electric powers, who got, like, a super buff. Oh, okay, no, we finally have gotten that, so we've done all this. Now, uh, is there anything else here? Yeah, now we can do them here, which I'll never do because I don't play this game with other people. And now, unfortunately, I am screwed for Monster Hunter videos for the next month or two while I grind out five levels because that's how long it's going to take me to do that. So, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode. Like, su like subscribe, ah, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, you know what to do. See ya.